First and foremost, spreading hatred of any kind is never okay. No one should be worried about how another person lives their life. Just as no one should be worried about someone else choosing to play a video game. It's totally fine to want to or to not want to play this game. It's also totally fine to live your life however you choose to do so. It's your life. As cliche as it is to say, let's all try to spread more love. There's way too much hate in this world already. Alright, now let's talk about the game. Out of my mind, delirious. You should hop in the void if you're curious. I maneuver the flow of my energy willingly. Wizard of Zoo, the furious fool. Releasing my demons and killing their moves. Just cause it was written don't mean that it's true. Disrupting my method, they want me to lose. Don't feel no pressure, been staying in tune. Ready when if you're like me, you've been waiting for this game for a very long time. I remember first seeing a leak for this years ago. At the time, I was in a room with a bunch of my friends, and everyone shared the same look of joy as I passed my phone around the room. To be honest, as time passed, I had completely forgotten about the game being in development. Well, when that first gameplay trailer was released, all of that excitement came rushing back. When I first actually loaded into Hogwarts Legacy, I was blown away almost immediately. The first thing I want to talk about is the atmosphere of this game. Obviously, Hogwarts Castle is a location that many have yearned to be able to go see for real. And besides the Wizarding World at Universal, this game offers the best chance of making that happen. When the game finally allows you to roam around Hogwarts at your own will, you see just how much care went into it. The castle is breathtaking inside and out, and it's honestly pretty overwhelming when you're first traversing through it. All of the constant twists and turns throughout Hogwarts can cause you to get a bit turned around if you're not constantly checking your minimap or using the guide mechanic. That point should really be an annoyance when you think about it, but in reality, that's all part of the allure of Hogwarts. If all you want out of this game is to experience what it's like to be a student at Hogwarts, nothing will come even close to reaching the levels that this game does to make that happen. The rest of the open world isn't as wow-inducing as the castle. Don't get me wrong, it's still just as cool to see other landmarks in the surrounding area like Hogsmeade and the Forbidden Forest. But all the little villages and encampments you'll encounter along your journey are pretty basic and none of them leave much of an impression on you. Not to say that it's badly designed, because that would be an exaggeration. Just that it's not an open world that will leave much of an impression on you past the already known Harry Potter landmarks. Still, you'll have fun flying your broom around it, but you'll start to see things look a little samey. The story is solid overall, but the tone of things inside and outside of the castle can be drastically different. Going from happy-go-lucky and fun-filled to dark and murderous. But, yet again, that is pretty normal for this series. At times it can be a little jarring, but if you're used to Harry Potter, you're used to stories like this. I will say that there is a solid supporting cast of students and teachers alike, with a couple standout voice acting performances as well. So the experience isn't a bad one by any means at all. But again, I feel like just being a wizard will be memorable, not necessarily the actual story of the game itself. Gameplay-wise, there aren't many shortcomings that I can see. Combat is a ton of fun, and I love that they put in a weapon wheel type mechanic that allows you to change spells on the fly. It gives you the ability to string together a ton of spells and help keep things really fresh. There are a ton of puzzles, dungeons, and other activities to do all throughout the world as well that you can spend a ton of your time doing if you want to do each and every one of them. Plus, there are a vast amount of items and loot to find, so you will never be disappointed when you're going on a loot run. Not to mention all the things you can craft and create while inside the room of requirement. There's a lot of things you can do and a lot of time you can spend in this game. You can easily spend hours upon hours in it and you can have a ton of fun while you're doing it. So when it comes down to it, if you're a fan of the Harry Potter series, there is no reason that you won't love this game. It's truly the experience that we've been waiting for. Even if you're not a prior fan of this series, I still think you'll enjoy this game. It's very well made and you can tell the developers put a lot of care into it. Hell, development was stretched out over multiple delays and that ended up being a pretty good thing. Now I have seen some performance issues while playing on Xbox Series X, but it's nothing game breaking and at its worst it'll just break the immersion for a moment. Other than that, it's a very well made game and you can have a great time while you're playing it. So if you haven't yet, go check out Hogwarts Legacy. So if you haven't yet, go check out Hogwarts Legacy and live out your new life as a wizard. I am pretty confident that you'll enjoy yourself.